another landscape photography video. But this time I'm going to challenge myself. And I have two challenges. The first one is to complete this hike, which is very steep and I'm not even halfway. And, but my main challenge is that this time, as you can see, I packed very light. I only brought, of course, my DA10, but only one lens, no filters, no polarizer, no tripod, no nothing. My 50 millimeter lens, that's it. My scope is to search discomfort. Put me in that situation where I don't have my usual 20 millimeters and my tripod where I can easily compose my shots. I need to be creative. I need to maybe do some panning shots, maybe some handheld panoramas, maybe some abstract shots. We will see. Let me also tell you that I'm still in Idaho and this is the Sotooth National Forest and I'm hiking towards Northern Lake. Let's go. And maybe I found something right here in this little creek. Usually in my traditional landscape photography, you know I like to use f8 and I like to have basically everything in focus. But for today, for my challenge today, I possibly will do also slightly different things. Maybe having uh, these leaves right here out of focus and my water flow in focus or vice versa. I will try to switch things up a little bit. Okay, enough for this spot. Let's go. This hike is pretty. It is not too long. I believe that back and forth is just uh, five miles, although it's very steep. Almost 2000 elevation gain. This is the part where I don't miss having a big backpack and my tripod. I might feel differently later on. For now, it's good.
I stopped here for a couple of reasons. First of all, I see a very interesting composition made of these uh, trees, maybe a geometric abstract shot, not sure, but also because I like to thank the Phototech Collection for sponsoring this video. I picked the Slow Your Shutter Speed T, even if this is not a long exposure photography video, but I believe that this hike where I'm searching for something different invite me to slow down my pace. So thank you guys for supporting my channel by getting one t-shirt for yourself or for your best friend or for your significant other or all the above. Thank you. I'll try to get this shot. What I find very interesting in this challenge, uh, hiking with uh, only one lens, is that I feel that I need to pay more attention, searching for patterns, searching for uh, texture, and uh, it feels like, um, I don't know, like uh, it feels like uh, street photography, where, you know, you have your camera in your hands and you're scouting for the, the right scene, the right moment. At the same time, because I'm uh, shooting pictures that are not really my style of photography, I don't feel any pressure. I feel very calm, I feel very relaxed. I don't feel that I need to go home with the image of my life. And we got to the first lake. The scenery is stunning. You will see in a second. But I want to tell you why I picked the 50 millimeter lens. Not only this is the lightest lens that I have, but this, in my opinion, is also the most versatile. As a matter of fact, with the 50 millimeter, I can uh, get a little closer to a possible uh, pattern but also, if I want to mimic the 20 millimeter lens, I can always go vertical and shoot a few images in order to create like a small panorama. And this is what I'm going to do right now. The 50 millimeter lens, you will see, is not wide enough to capture the entire scene. So I will go vertical and and as you can see I took a few images that I will stitch together in Lightroom to create a small panel and possibly I could uh, recreate the view angle that I would have had with my 20 millimeter lens. So, very versatile.
from this beautiful lake now that the sun is behind the mountain and I have uh, less light, beautiful reflections, I think I will try some uh, nature in motion, some panning shots that could create that uh, abstract, colorful image that I like. And uh, I have a series on my website, Nature in Motion. Let's see if I can uh, add one more shot to that collection. So at uh, f7.1 with the uh, ISO 64, I have uh, a shutter speed of 1 over 10. Let's see if this is slow enough. I'll do a vertical shot and I will pan trying to keep my armpit closed and my elbow on my hips in order to be steady and create this panning movement in this very little leg of time. This was not good, it was definitely too fast. So I will need to close my aperture a little more in order to have a longer shutter speed. I am in aperture priority. My shutter speed is uh, one over four. Let's see. Yeah, it could be better. Let me do this, you know, I take the locket here. Uh, no. Ah, it takes a lot of attempts. Let's try one more time. Definitely abstract. And this is the this is the second of the Northern Lakes. I believe there is a third. I'm not sure we are going to make it because it might be too dark by the time we get down. It's actually quite hard to make a video while hiking, but I'm not complaining because I got some new hiking sticks. And you saw this, they help a lot, I have to say. Carbon fiber, seven ounces, can't believe it. So stable, huge difference. So if you're going for landscape photography, hiking, uh, carrying uh, big backpacks or any kind of backpack, strongly recommend it. $60, very good purchase. Link in the description down below if you're interested. And with these last two shots, I think I'm done for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that this video is going to encourage you to challenge yourself. 
I believe that trying different things, challenging ourselves, it always helps us to progress. And even if I didn't do any long exposures today, I had a great time. I enjoyed my hike. I loved being in nature. You should try it too. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.